Hello there, Internet. Mogwai here, and I got another video for you guys today. And today, I want to play some Is It Wizards, which is an archetype that I've never showcased on this channel before. And before we hop onto the deck, I want to give a huge shout out to all of you, uh, especially those who left comments in my video yesterday. I went on a little bit of a ramble in the deck tip video, I was a little bit stressed. And uh, I've, I've seen like a lot of like supportive comments, man. It's uh, been truly heartwarming and it's been very motivating honestly like i've been doing uh this you know been really focusing on uh mtg and building this channel up uh ever since the release of uh ravnica allegiance and you know with guilds of ravnica as well and it's been quite the ride right you know ups and downs but uh, my channel just keeps going at a pretty high pace and uh sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming you know it's youtubing is not as easy as it seems i guess uh, though I'm not saying, you know, I, I, I'm very grateful for what I do and being able to do it and all that. But uh, sometimes you get a little bit burnt out. And uh, yesterday, seeing all the supportive comments, it was, uh, I don't know, it really meant a lot to me. And it just uh, kind of like brought me back to uh, reality in a way and saying, you know, I, I'm, I'm very lucky to, you know, have this channel go the way it does. And I don't know, I just want to give a huge shout out and a big hug to all of you. I really appreciate you. And I just want to thank you for watching my video. So without further ado, let's hop on to Hogwarts, which is an is it wizards list that is an archetype, like I said, that I have not featured on this channel before. It's a pretty straightforward deck list. If you look at it, it's rather aggressive and it aims on capitalizing on wizard synergy. So we have the likes of Augur of Bolus, Burning Prophet as a three of, Dreadhort Arcanist, Adalus, the Cinder Wind, and two copies of Naromiha, Master Wizard, as our wizard lineup. And then we have a bunch of card draw and damaging sorts of spells, and counter spells as well, in the form of Wizards of Tort. We have four ops and uh, four chart, of course, as our sources of card draw. And then we have the likes of Reckless Rage, Shock, and Wizards Lightning as our damage spells. So we use blue to draw and counter, we use red to zap shit, and we use Wizards to smoke our opponent. That is pretty much the strategy behind this deck. The main enabler is Atalus, the Cinder Wind. I actually only had two copies of this card. I had to craft her because, uh, like I said, I've never dwelled into this archetype myself. And uh, she's pretty nasty. If she uh, goes unanswered, it, it it's a very, very powerful threat uh, that the opponent has to be very wary of. And it. it's initially a 3-mana 2-2 two, two with Flying in Haste, which is not really that big of a deal, but the ability is really scary. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, wizards you control get plus 1, plus 1 until the end of the turn. That is why we're running this archetype, because of Adalus right here. If we have 2 or 3 wizards on the board and we go opt into Shock, into Chart of Course, we just get a massive burst of uh, damage and it is uh, also a very nice answer for like a defensive standpoint as well to protect your board as well if your opponent has like shocks themselves or damaging spells or cry the carnariums to like deal with your board you can use Atalus's ability to protect your board state and it's overall very flexing very menacing ability and uh, on top of that we have Naromiha which is a I don't know if I pronounced that right it's a four mana uh legendary wish, uh, wizard with flash right which means you can cast this whenever you want and when naramiha enters the battlefield you copy target instant or sorcery spell you control and then you may choose new targets for the copy and uh, she gives a plus one plus one boost to all of your wizards so if you play naramiha in conjunction with an op then you can opt twice you can uh, play naramiha in conjunction with the chart of course and you can uh, you know draw a shitload of cards uh, you know, with Wizards Lightning, you get to zap twice, etc., etc. So a pretty nice power play, and as you can see, our curve is very low, hence why we're running a total of 14, 18, 22 lands, because obviously we cap out a four, and, uh, you know, with four mana, we can actually do quite a bit. The sideboard is comprised of one extra Reckless Rage, one Sheevan Fire, four Negates, one Lava Coil, two Fire Cannonades as a source of AoE, one God Eternal Kefnet, three Clacking... Uh, Clackling, Drake's, and two in Trancy Melodies. We're not going to be uh, putting the sideboard to use because I'm actually going to be piling this deck in uh, best of one casual. The reasoning behind this is because I'm going to attempt to climb to Mythic ranked in today's stream after I record this video, and I'm going to do so with Grixis. I really want to make Gr uh, Mythic with Grixis. It's my favorite archetype, and that is the video that you can expect tomorrow so hopefully i am successful in today's uh stream climb if not then we'll just keep trying 
But uh, I don't want to like hinder my progress with this deck because I'm not as experienced as I am with a deck like Grixis. But I do want to give a little bit of variety, and this is a pretty you know proven archetype that can definitely be used in ranked. But I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit of best of one. It's been a while I played best of one, you know, on top of that. So it's not like you know it's been uh, it's something that I've, I've done often. Like I, I know my main focus in this channel is to do best of three, right? So. <laughs> I can tell that when I put my headphones on, my, my voice rises because <laughs> I need to hear myself talk. Uh, anyways, let's take Hogwarts, Harry Potter, all that bullshit, and let's hop onto some MTG games. And let's put this deck to action. I'm curious to see what I'll run into casual because I, I barely play casual, but it doesn't really make a difference because my limited experience in this environment is that it's pretty much the same as ranked like there's some jank here and there but there's also a lot of mono red mono white and, you know a, a lot of like really try hard uh, sorts of strategies so i i don't expect like matches to be easier here by any means uh i'll keep this it's actually a bit of a a slower curve considering you know the structure of this deck but at the same time we got card draw, we got counter spells, and we got a shitload of lands. Yeah, this is already too many lands for this deck. Alright, so... This turn we can either play the Dreadhorde Arcanist or we can preserve the Wizard's Retort. I'm more of a fan of playing the Dreadhorde Arcanist. I want to have some sort of threat on the board. This also enables my Wizard's Lightning to be worth one mana. And uh, I could potentially, like, if I play Narumeha, I can bust this to, uh, or boost this. Oh, Angels. That's a prime target for my Wizard's Lightning, by the way. At the end of the turn, I'm going to zap this. Now, one of the things that, uh, one of the key things here is, I think I'm actually going to play Narumeha just, just like this. Because if I boost this to two attack, then I can uh, cycle the chart of course. And I think that's just too powerful not to not to do. So I'm gonna go for it. And because I've declared an attack, the way chart of course works, as you can see, I get, I get to keep all the cards. So. I like this play. I don't think there's anything key, like, especially when facing green, the biggest plays you want to counter generally are are five mana plays. Okay, this could be a, con a conclude tribunal. It is. I cry every time. But we do have the counter spell enabled for next time. I'm going to drop this uh, Augur of Bolas. See what we can fish, if anything. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna drop this mountain. And I'm going to attack. No reason to go for the Wizard's Lightning yet. We have a counter spell, so if he goes for a big boy play like that, we uh, most definitely can counter that. <laughs> we, just, we don't even think about that shit. Now the question is, do I zap this? And I think I do. That's one of the things about playing casual as well. Uh, people forfeit easier because that that game was still a game. Like, that was not... <laughs> that was far from over, but I guess my opponent did not want any more of it, so... Leave a like on this video for psychological victory. We made our opponent cry uncle. And I guess that's more powerful of a win than <laughs> just a standard one. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, you like my shirt, by the way? Respect my authority! Alright, I am the path. Is our next opponent, and uh, we are going to keep this hand because our curve is generally so low. Seeing a two lander is actually pretty nice. Merfolk. Merfolk. I remember when this deck like used to actually be a thing. Like, it was played. So, come in a speaker. There's no island as of now. I think I want to drop the... Uh... 
I have a feeling if I play Augur of Bolus, I'm gonna I'm gonna see like a bunch of lands. Like, I have this feeling, but you know what? A lot of times my gut just isn't quite right, so I'm gonna play this guy anyways. Okay, okay, my gut was definitely not right. Like Augur just prevented me from getting like really mana screwed. So yeah. <laughs> Lesson learned. Never listen to your gut, Miguel. I was just convinced that um okay, this is a problem. This is a big issue. Oof. Oof. Yeah. We're we're in trouble. We're in massive trouble. Um can we survive another hit? I don't think we can. Cause if I play uh Adalus the the Cinder Wind, I can no, what is my best option here? I think preserving my my counter spells is actually my best option. As boring as that seems of a play, the problem is that this board state is already killing me. Um, I don't know if there's anything I can do at this stage. He's got like so much size, so early on. What's my like? If I play this, I can generate a bit of a board state to block that potentially. I'm I'm gonna try. I think this is my best shot at winning. Like from a uh, from a defensive standpoint, I have to uh, bank on my opponent just not having. Yikes! The stats are too damn high. All right, that's seven nine. I go down to two. If I block this, I go down to six. If I block that. I preserve my blocker, but I go down to like four, which means we are dead. Yikes. Well. I <laughs> haven't seen Merfolk in a while, but it's come back from the past to whoop us. Whoop us bad, oh my lord. That's certainly the Merfolk that I remember, man. Merfolk was a, a pretty nasty deck. In fact, like, the first Friday Night Magic that I went to uh, here in Malaga, like, I was playing Arena for a while, right? But I still, I, I wasn't nearly as experienced of a player as I am now. Like, this was, like, last year. Uh... Quite a, like almost a year ago actually, maybe even more. But I, I went to this Friday Night Magic and uh, I brought, um, I had a, a Winding Constrictor deck. It was, uh, was it Golgari or Soltai? It was Soltai with Hadana's Climb. And I was very used to playing Arena, but I, I, I didn't really play Tabletop, right? So and there's a big difference, like you gotta get used to it because Arena does a lot of shit for you. So if you don't have experience playing on paper like you're gonna notice i'm pretty sure a lot of you have noticed this for those of you especially who have like played arena and then moved on to tabletop you probably have realized this because it hit me hard at first uh but regardless like the first player that i ever played in a friday night magic in, in that environment oh there's the mana there's the mana red and casual there's till it's taking too long <laughs> so the um the first deck that I faced was actually a Merfolk. This guy just played like a Merfolk deck. And he obliterated me. And he ended up winning the entire, like, event. You know, he, it was like a mini tournament. And he ended up winning the whole thing. He, like, didn't drop a single game. With fucking Merfolks, man. It's, it's one of those decks that if you if you disrupt it, it just runs out of steam, right? But uh, if you don't interact with it, it just obliterates you. Um, we can only chart a course here. There's our shock. We don't need a steam vents here. So unfortunately, we don't really have. Okay, we're down to twelve. That's already uh, quite low. I I would need a creature. There we go. Good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and play Augur of Bolus and get nothing.
we could see a wizard's lightning go down here and we're gonna use reckless rage to uh, deal with that we're still gonna take quite a bit of damage here unfortunately yeah we're gonna drop down a seven that's pretty low that's pretty scary uh, what could we do here it has to be the Dread Horde Arcanist. We have the Wizard's Lightning enabled, but unfortunately we uh, don't have enough red mana here. Now we get going. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go, boys. It's time for motherfucking turbo mode. Turbo mode engaged. Okay, so if I go this, okay, can we do it? Can we do it? If I if I opt, that's five and nine, should be enough. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Till. Take that shit to rank, Till. <laughs> uh, you know what's better than beating Mono Red? Beating Mono Red in casual. It has that extra satisfying. I, it's hard to define, but I'm pretty sure everybody watching this video can comprehend. <laughs> oh, boy. Fucking stop taking Mono Red to casual, guy. with me. Like, what's wrong with you? You pussy, take that to ranked. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, Hallowed is our next opponent. Mmm, I. It's, it's land heavy, but I'm gonna keep. It's very land heavy, though. I, I just realized I'm playing. I'm playing the pirate. Uh, what's wrong with me, man? What's wrong? Why? Uh, this, this triggers me. Fucking pirate up, really? Ugh. Well, let's drop the, uh, the Dreadhorde Arcanist. Because with Arcanist, we can start opting for free uh, once we attack. And next turn, we'll have the Retort enabled. Unfortunately, he uh, drops a blocker on us. So we're going to have to wait now. Because I do want to have this Wizard's Retort enabled to counter whatever comes in afterwards. Come on, throw something big. Or attack me. Yeah, sure. Attack me. Thank you. Ain't nobody got time for that. There we go. There's my Wizard's Lightning. Beautiful. I don't think I need to resort to it now, though. I think I'm just better off going for the Augur of Boldus. Well, I want to attack first. Go ahead. 
go for the opt. I mean, get another opt, why not? Fail miserably with Augur of Bolas and call it a turn. I like Narumiha, but for later. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna opt on the main phase. We're gonna get that land, yeah. I could I could use this later though. Like right now, what do I care about this? I'd rather be able to double zap some shit later than the line, right? Let's attack first. I like this though. Let's do it like this. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Oh, beautiful. We're gonna go full control. I was in Daru. <laughs> nice. That earned you the, the thumbnail. I wanted to make sure that I didn't fuck it up because, you know, sometimes the sequencing effect can be a little bit uh, awkward. <laughs> All right, not even bad. Not even bad. I think I, I, I showcased most of the. Uh, I'm, I'm in a bit of a hurry today because I, I gotta, you know, eat and then stream as soon as, as, soon as possible. But I, I even got to show uh, Naramika here in action a little bit. Yeah. I, I showcased most of the deck. Like the only thing that I didn't showcase is the uh, Burning Prophet, but that's basically what the deck does. It's pretty fun uh, and definitely like viable for ranked. Like you can take this for ranked and uh, you know tweak the sideboard and try it out in best of three as well. But like I said, I, I want to uh, climb with Grixis today, so that's why we played a little bit of casual. But we played mostly like pretty competitive decks, you know, for the most part. <laughs> we even faced Moderate, of course. And, uh, yeah, fun list. I definitely will be uh, going more into this in the future and seeing if I can uh, optimize it a little bit better. But uh, the, the list seems pretty sweet, and it's actually pretty good fun to play. So that'll do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed some daily MTG content. Leave a like if you want to or not. It helps out the channel. And I'll stop talking. Thank you for those, uh, the constant support, and especially the recent one. Like I said, it really means a lot to me, and I fucking love you, man. And that's where I'm going to end it. Have a whole day. I'll see you tomorrow.